Hello and welcome to Outer Worlds. So, we are finally leaving Monarch. Not that I didn't have an amazing time. And we gotta go to the, back to the Groundbreaker to get rid of the gas. Uh, we don't have cows anymore. I don't know what the hell was up with that, but we don't have them anymore, so... I guess that's something. No one tells me anything around this ship. That's cool. Right, I just closed my captain's quarters. Uh, guys? I'm chilling in the mess hall. Oh, no. Vicar's okay, okay. so doing his right thing. Ellie. Yes, who the villain was in this week's Virginia Yang girl detective? Mr. Birdie Holcomb, that tall spoiler! Wow, are you serious? I gotta get a copy of that. Hey, you got a minute? Uh. Hey, me? I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. Makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two timing coward is some sort of contagious disease or if he was just born that way. What are you talking about? Graham Bryant? Never meet your heroes. Graham wasn't my hero, but I did admire his work. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Uh, you were not there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but I, I appreciate that you uh, share our views. Don't go looking for role models, Felix. You're just asking to be lied to. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I agree with that. But... Okay, you can have role models, but real role models, like, uh, the real role models would be if you have good parents, like, could be like parents or someone you live with, like, sometime, someone who doesn't really necessarily put up a front, but even those who you live with, probably not gonna tell you even close to everything. They're just gonna have their own thoughts and they're gonna maybe, like, seem like more or less than what they are I just you just well um, but my point is like if you are looking for role models role models you should probably um, try to uh, get to know them as much as possible although that sounds a little uh, obsessive I don't like you should probably try to base it on you know you can you can uh, definitely uh, try to incorporate uh, character traits that you like, but you shouldn't assume that people are perfect by any means. And if you want role models, if you if you have role models like that, then then truly like parents it tends to be the be better ones. But even even those can be, uh, of course, flawed. And that that's kind of the point. That's kind of the point that uh you don't really see like oh my god this like there's one guy who's like oh my god so good foosballer like oh my god i love him he's he's perfect in every way and that's a big flaw and i wouldn't say like flaw but just like a character trait in humans is that uh people tend to associate uh positive character traits onto people or negative character traits onto people you know if you're like if if you find someone super attractive or you just really like one thing that, that they do and they're like oh my god that guy must be perfect it's like uh no just uh, anyway I am uh, just rambling on don't go looking for role models but this is an interesting you know what I'm saying here Felix is you know you don't have you, you shouldn't try to be someone else you should just you know you can you definitely can keep an eye out for you know for who you want to be and who you want to change and this is not really a young young person thing you know this is a common misconception you know if you're like stop improving and changing then actually then you're just going the other way that's just it you know so yeah you should always just on the lookout for, you know, doing it, uh, just, just trying, okay? 
Anyway, uh, Eva's sorry for what he did. Uh, Graham is a piece of trash. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. I don't like either of these lands so much. Because I don't think he should be, like, uh, just give up on, on, on role models. He was sorry for what he did. That's irrelevant. Graham is a piece of trash. It just, it just seems like I have poor... Okay, but that might be fair enough, but it just seems like I have just poor emotional control. and like, yeah, that guy's trash. But he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can say that. Maybe you're right. I can't stop thinking about what he did. About all those people in Amber Heights. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Look, uh, Graham was a total dick even before we found out about his uh, mass murder, so... <laughs> uh, Graham wasn't the one who killed all those people, he just allowed it to happen. Uh, no, 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 he actually set it up. No, uh, that's not what I do. No, that's not what I do. Like, people get hurt along the way, and I'm definitely not shy of defending myself. And, uh... I suppose I, I, I do have... Uh, I do think about some guards that could have avoided some bloodshed along the way. But, I guess, you know, you can never be sure. Just try to do okay. Uh, ultimately, I'm not a pacifist. You can be. Uh, not unless you're uh, willing to die. Uh, first chance you get. So, I don't know. We got attacked many times. So, but no. I'm not going out of my way to hurt innocents. Uh, hurting guards who are uh, guarding uh, bad people. Yeah, I guess that happens. You know? Ultimately, and this is a bit, bit of a cop-out. Like, you know... The guards kind of signing up to guard bad people. For example, if I just sign up to guard terrorists, but I was not a terrorist. Uh, and, and like, the army came and killed me. Like, should they feel super guilty about it? Hmm? Your call. Your call. But ultimately, I was just in it for the money. And you can say, like, oh, I, I really needed the money. Okay, I mean, like, I, I can see that people are just desperate, like, that's the only thing they can get. And, and that's not like they are dead, I, I said terrorists, but... And because that's quite easy, but that doesn't... If I said just some evil corporation that, that, uh... You know, we can say, like, chaotic evil, and like, okay, that, those guys are evil. But if I say lawful evil, people are gonna be like, yeah, but they are lawful. No, lawful evil is, uh, it's just as bad. If not worse. So, no, we would not, not do that. So, don't get your hopes up. We're not gonna kill innocents. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Wow. What a fucking idiot. Can we talk? Oh, you wanna talk to you? Captain? Oh my god. Is that, was that a wink? Uh... Okay. Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> just goes to show you there is always a peaceful option. Uh, that's just naive. It's not too late for them to go back to their old ways. Yeah. You know? And even I was kind of guilty of like, you know, let's just kill the Iconicasts, but, or not, not just the leaders. I think, yeah, Graham had to go. I was kind of think of killing Co uh, Zora too, but, you know, but I think it might be okay. <sighs> it's not too late for them to go back to their old days. That's the option I'd bet on. Sure, maybe they'll have a good cry first. Look through old photographs over a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. 
Paper change. Paper change all the time. Maybe not in ways they hope to, or... People change all the time. In subtle ways. But, yeah, like... I think it's like... Oh, this is again a huge, huge, huge topic. But sometimes just people want to change in, in, in very drastic ways. And in a very short time. And change is just... Like, how, how, how do you get your personality, for example? Over your lifetime. And like, oh, I want to change something. How fast I want to change? Ah, uh, weeks, maybe months. Like, maybe not. Maybe okay. Actually, that's that would be even like up. Oh, that would be even uh, more sensible. But even that is just crazy. But uh, usually, what would you get is right now. <laughs> so uh, that's not really how it goes. Uh, according to some study. Like, establishing new habits takes, like, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I'd, like, give or take, like, a hundred days. So, if you do it for, like, over three months, you know, if you just keep doing something for over three months, it's it just, it just gonna, you know, it just kind of becomes effortless to keep going. But, like, yeah, like, realistically, you should be looking at at least three months to, to uh, establish some kind of change. So, people do change. And that's like intentional change, but there's like unintentional change and people change all the time that way as well. So, uh, that was a very specific image. I think, it, you know, I could just play it off. I could just do more role playing, but I think this is kind of cool. And, uh... You got to try looking for the good in people. Um... Yeah, like, uh, just keep an open mind, I, I guess. Like, if you... Like, that. that's... And again, another very important thing is that, you know, you shouldn't just be like, you know, I know who you are and, you know, you're not open to see other people, like, uh, how they change to be. That could be very suffocating. Uh, like, you know, you just see them as they were like five years ago and like, you know, they're not that person anymore and that could be, uh, well, frustrating and annoying and unfair. Anyway, uh, that was a very specific image. It sounds like you're rooting against them. Uh, it does sound like that uh, she is a little disappointed and... I don't think... Like, actually, I think she changed. I think, yeah. Maybe change is the, the key. The key element of her character, but uh, she's kind of hiding it. But we'll see. Uh, I think, uh, at least I hope, that we're gonna have a uh, some kind of mission with her. Actually, I would like to know her better. Uh, we did find out that Felix is an idiot. <laughs> Again, he was like, "Hell yeah, Graham was a cool guy." It's like, uh, that was a very specific image. Uh, you gotta try looking for the good in people. I wouldn't say that though. You know, keeping an open mind and looking for the good in people is not the same thing. You know, they might be dicks, and you're just trying to look uh, for the good in them. Uh, that's not good. So, th there's a big difference between what I'm saying and what's uh, written there. It sounds like you're rooting against them. Just being realistic. As long as they keep their business on Monarch, their situation's got nothing to do with me. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure you weren't too invested in this thing between them lasting. Actually, I would like them to last. Nice to know you care. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? Uh, no. If you're going to work together, I want to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by... Not much else. That He's not going to tell me anything. I think I had some uh, chance to uh, further uh, my relationship with her uh, first time we had that chat, but I was not perceptive enough, so now she's somewhat closed off. Oh man, and we gotta rest and eat and whatnot. How come Felix? Go away. 
Ah, it's okay. He's young and dumb and impressionable. And he's looking for... He's looking to define himself. He's looking to... Well, not really finding himself. Yeah, yeah, define, like, you know. Ultimately, you're not gonna find yourself. That's another dumb shit, like... Oh, I'm gonna find out who I am. No! Make yourself at home, Captain. You make who you are. Okay, whoa, what the fuck is that? Can I use that? Uh, Sanja donated these after you helped MSI. Brown lenters. Really? Oh! Okay. Uh, Auntie Biotics Secret Lab. Oh, oh, 27. What the fuck? Okay. What is this? Now that Zora is in charge, the iconic class have fighting chance at surviving and spreading uh, from Monarch. Okay. What else we got? I didn't see this one. Oh. Manti Queen Head. Forced Factory. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just gathering all the junk in my room. I hope I'm not gonna get killed by this sign. One day I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm just like typing, typing, and I'm like, BAM, dead! By Auntie Biotech Secret Lab 27. I would not put that there. I am not paranoid, like but not stupid. Place. Kitchy collectibles are such a human inclination. At least I don't I wouldn't see the point. You no, I got lights already. Changing your clothes more often. Oh shut up, Ada. We should probably do that. <laughs> oh actually oh, we already slept. Um uh, do I have some food? What's food? I can't tell. Oh, that's food. I need to eat more. I guess that's good enough. Maybe a little bit more. So much crap. So much crap. Let's eat that. Alright, we're good. <sighs> okay. So, we're going to the Groundbreaker. Return to Lydia. Mm, let's do that. What else we got? Speak with Hines. In his lab. Uh, we should probably just return the... Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't know what this is. So, Ali. No. Nyoka. Does a swap. Of... I can't... Can't... Uh... Swap that. Okay, let's swap. And Ellie swaps in this and that. Then Nyoka swaps in this and what? <gasps> what happened to the armor? Oh, Ellie didn't have one. <clears throat> uh, she had this uh, very ugly tech skills. Dress. And Ellie also maybe is gonna use this one. Should I just craft my guns a little bit? I don't know. So... 629. Level 20. I can... Uh, install a mod on it. So, barrel modification. Make it quiet. A crit damage 25. That would be actually pretty good for me. Ultra rifle. Plasma damage type, magazine size. Uh, let's go plasma damage type. And last, post armor damage dealt. I don't know. 
Super scope, we don't need that. And weapon range extension. Oh yeah, let's do that. So that makes it more effective at longer ranges. Alright. Uh, fuck, no, I need to put it in. Where is it? And I also need to tinker with it a little bit. Uh, tinker, tinker. This one. <laughs> I'm gonna find a better weapon in like two seconds. How many bits? 700 bits. 25. 1000 bits. Seems like a lot of bits. How far I can go? Seems like a lot of bits. That is a lot of bits. A lot of bits for 6 damage. I don't think we need that. Uh, pff, Fine. What about my companions? Should I enhance their armors? Armor. Uh, modify. Uh, we already have factory stock plating. So maybe that's decent. Uh, doesn't matter. Range weapon skills. I don't think that affects the companions. Okay. Carry capacity of the companions. I don't think that affects me. I can I can put that on myself. Okay, let, let's put put a twenty carry cap enhancement on myself. And I, I don't need a gadget. I don't know about the scope. It would be better without the scope, but I guess we don't have to use the scope. It's just an option. Then I increased. The, I basically made it like a sniper. Okay. Plasma Rifle Ultra. Let's see the stats. Um, crit. That's what I'm... Crit chance is 20%. We basically almost have a... Full crit. 1% crit chance. Crit damage. 162.5. Plus I will also have other enhancements to crit. It seems like the crit damage increases are additive and the crit chance increases are multiplicative. So this probably deals a sh like 1700 ish or even more damage. Just just a lot. Even more when we uh, get the crit up. But let's just go to the groundbreaker. Oh, yeah, we're chilling in Monarch. I think we have a quest up Terra 2. I went for a dumb perk last time. It doesn't affect... Breaker. Doesn't affect uh, how many... What? I got... I got thirsty? How? Okay, so we don't take Nyoka. We take Parvati. And we take Ali. Let's go. Parvati always. Nayuk is okay. Let's go. Oh, we might want to check out the these thingies. Although, the level of these is based on the area or my level. 27. Uh, definitely my level. Holy shit. Flamethrower. 1225. Very good DPS, but also very pathetic range. 10 effective range. That's no good. Effective range is pretty important. This has good effective range, but actually the rifle I'm using right now is just better. The, the main problem with this is the mag size. 
It's it's okay and it hits hard, but the max size is just uh, a little questionable. It could be good for sniping. Okay, forty nine. That's that's pretty close. What what what's the level of the armor I'm using right now? Oh, we can't replace it like this. Sixty seven. And a 20, 25 level armor. That's just a better armor. Yeah. And this is a medium armor. We are looking for heavy armor always. Oi! Oi, Bob! I'm just heading in. Uh, so I guess I might just check out all the vending machines. Oh my god, so many stores. Uh, do I need to buy any consumables? Hey Ellie, having your usuals? <sighs> Not today. I'm on the job. All right. Never thought I'd see the day. What'll it be? Oh yeah, this is Ellie's uh main Nothing area. you need and everything you want. All right, more, more like nothing. I think that's what you meant to say. Yeah, this is just total trash booze. Alright. You gotta change that slogan, uh, Missy. You looking to shoot targets, varmints, or marauders? Whatever it is, I'll set you square. Well, you kind of failed that last time, but let's just see. So... Well, what? Heavy machine gun too? Well, that's good stuff. That's good DPS. That's better than the light machine gun. Oh, shit. But the heavy machine gun actually has an uh, effective range of 25. And if we could uh, increase the effective range, I don't I don't think it's possible though. But I do want to buy this. Uh, the heavy machine gun. That's odd. Uh, that's kind of low level-ish. Okay. I guess that's all she has. Uh, any good mods? can buy this, but it doesn't matter much. Uh, quiet muzzle. We kind of already have uh, most of these. That's melee. And corrosion damage type. That's interesting. Because... If I look into the science... Skill... Plasma and shock damage, but also we can increase uh, corrosive and end rate damage. And if you can transform many weapons into corrosive damage, then that would be uh, better. At least for the main character. And maybe corrosive is a good, ty good damage type, I don't know. But we can buy that and consider using it for uh, something. Uh, well, the Let's just go check across the promenade. What can I do for it? My law, what have I done? The company will have my head. Both of them. This is awful. I Help can't. me, oh, Lord! <laughs> Boom, did I skip? Gotcha. It? What I wouldn't give to see the look on your face. What? This guy's real easy to fuck with. What, what kind of depraved mind would conjure such a nightmare? Play nice, Ellie. Our friend here is more fragile than he looks. That's Ellie. Isn't she great? Agree to disagree. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this behind us and forget it ever happened. I just wanted to skip through your initial greet uh, that I heard look. many times before, but didn't consider that Ellie might have something I knew to say. Uh... Okay. Alright. Would you let me go? Okay, let's check the vending machines. Too many vending machines here. But they seem to be garbage now. Rezos is usually the best. But not this time. Again, very disappointing selection. 
a um, lot of items. Not too surprising. Clothed and trash. 49. Is this medium? No, it's actually a light helmet. That's why the... I say it's so crap. Alright, let's leave. And... We still have the armor shop to check out. And after that, we're gonna head into sublight. And just replay... Uh, just, uh... I don't know, just... Uh, we have the fuel, and we wanna get paid. Itching to whack someone over the head? We can help with that. I don't know. Let's see what you got. So, he's only selling melee that I don't care about. And he's... He tends to sell just trash armor. And this is... Uh, this time is no different. Does heavy clothes... Does heavy clothing... Slow you down? I don't know. It does, doesn't seem like it. Dialogue skills of 5. We can technically use this... To boost our dialogue skills... Uh, plus 5. Because this bonus would get multiplied by my bonus thingy. The wait, no, I, I can't put a mod in that. Lockpick five. I already got a lockpick helmet, but this might be worth considering, as this is basically a plus five dialogue. That's no good. It's also, it's not super heavy. It's only one kilogram. Let's pick it up. But that's it. Wow. The best find is a heavy machine gun too. That I might just give to Parvati. Actually, this would be nice to enhance. Um, do I want to enhance it right here? Oh! 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 What if I try to speed up the dates between Probati and Junlei? Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. How about your girlfriend? Wow. I, I can't. I can't force it. How disappointing. Uh, so... I can boost this. I can install mods. Barrel... Crit damage, maybe, and excise. Uh, let's put in crit damage. Uh, seems like we can't do too much here. Should I go with shock damage? That would make it extra good against uh, robots and probably not affect the damage against most enemies that much. I can also tinker it. Make it super good. How much it costs? 250. That's it. We reached the cap. Alright. You liking your new weapon? Oh fuck. And that's that seems like a good weapon to me. Crit damage plus 25, damage type shock. Robot's gonna love this shit. <laughs> Alright, pretty good weapon. Ellie, what you got? That's okay too. Alright, let's go. Right, time to get paid. If they don't want to pay up, I would like them to try. So they said it's gonna be about 1 million uh, bits for us. Uh, if it's gonna be 1 bit less, I'm gonna be mad. Hi hey, mister, I'm looking to get paid. This is my big payday. What's up? Oh, what? Yeah. What? Can I can I bust in here? Got it. Inside voices. I, I I didn't expect to be able to get in here. But there's actually nothing in here. Wow! Uh, crap. Total trash. Actually, dialogue skills. That would have been acceptable.
On my way. I guess that's it. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. What? When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. How much did you give me? Two thousand bits for one hundred twenty times one hundred twenty five times one million bits. You're not the only one who enjoys the finer things, Lilia. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Five hundred. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium, but here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Do you always send your first time first into certain peril? I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. I don't need a fucking promotion. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine says the factory needs some repairs before it's back to working order. But at least it's under our control. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? You're seriously asking this? Could have sworn one of them winked at me. I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? What? You're doing okay, Lydia? Um, how often you're doing drugs? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work, they're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Fuck me. Sounds like a major business expansion. It pays to get in on those early, you know. This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. You're totally ripping me off. I gave you 125 million bits, and you gave me 2,500. And now you're just trying to uh, get me to uh, get you a space station. And this sounds awesome. I'm totally in. Just point me in the right direction. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. What's with this getting followed? I'm disturbed. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Okay. So... Oh yeah, we gotta talk with Phineas Bellas. That's the next... Uh, destination. CNP Bark Potter. There's not much to do. I guess I could have fast traveled to my ship. But, yeah, again, in this area and the first town, I, I didn't feel like I need fast travel. More like with the first uh, area where I just, you know, you're like, okay, we, can, we, can, we could use that. Okay, so we gotta pop in to Phineas. So this is the space station, HRS 1084. And other than that, we can go to Scylla. But let's just go to Phineas's lab first. 
We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Great. Uh, let's go. Negotiate the sprats for territory. I hope this time he's not gonna hide behind some uh, bulletproof glass. Gotta be said, he kinda hit the jackpot with us. If I just revive some random guy, like reviving some random girl or boy, uh, in, in a, like a among hundreds of thousands, and I really turned out to be a quite the go-getter. Holy shit! Oh, you got bubbles. And who? Oh, Christy Pig. Did he have those pigs before? He definitely didn't have bubbles. I'm pretty sure about that. And he's still hiding behind a, behind the bulletproof glass. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting! Uh, what's so important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. <laughs> uh, they did a good job with Phineas Vellas. Not only it's, he's a very interesting character, but also you never trust him. Yeah, I, I can't trust this guy. He's hiding behind the bulletproof glass. Oh man, so what's the plan? I should know about this Carmen Imagawa. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Nothing. I'll be back. I guess that's it. We're leaving. But where to next? Okay, we are... Phineas has an associate who can uh, help you locate Minister Clark. This person works at the Byzantium docks. Yes. So... But we have to go to Scylla. One with Byzantium. More Scylla. Yeah, this is the space station. I think that's separate. Search the outpost. This is going back to Edgewater. That's uh, Byzantium again. And take Max to the Hermit on Scylla. So mostly we are, have missions on Scylla. Somewhat Byzantium. 
and one leading back to Edgewater. I don't know, maybe we should get that one out of the way, but I'm kind of wanna go and hit up this uh, space station. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? Who's causing disturbance? What? Define disturbance, Ada. I'm not seeing any disturbance here. You're always in control. Alright, so let's go to the space station, HRS 1084. That's a there too. I'm, I'm a little conflicted here. We reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Should I just do the companion quest? Of per uh, of Nyoka, Emerald Vale. You know what? Fuck, I'm the worst captain. Edgewater landing pad, Roseway landing pad, Byzantium freight port landing pad. Wait the hell? That's new, isn't it? We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Uh, okay, let's, let's head out. We are taking Nyoka and Parvati. Ellie has to wait. Actually, Ellie's not really waiting for anything here. Apparently this is just a talk, and we already know this place. Oh, TTD. Trains very slowly when I'm not shooting. Uh, yeah. Abandoned Spaces Choice Settlement. So let's go to the geothermal. Better than nature. Some old. Okay. So seemingly we. There's no one here. We want the geothermal. Uh, that's good news. I would have been surprised if the robots moved in a gam. We might run into some marauders. Hopefully not. This should be pretty uh, much... Uh, just a I talk. wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! We can handle this! Down they go! Wow! Not even a scratch! That's the point. So, can we hey, get in? Take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca! Anders! You in there? Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. <clears throat> so she's fixed. I mean, sure. so she's uh, uh, stuck in here? Maybe she's oh, dead. No. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh, Nyoka. I'm so sorry. Anderson, Karen, Medallion. Okay, they're all dead. It, it's this place faded and the buttons are almost entirely rusted through, but you can still make out Bits and pieces of what looks like Rebecca's final entries. <clears throat> no, help me. But Anderson was right. We never should have taken this contract. I thought Monarch was bad, but this... 
This is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or adult or I don't know what. what. The town won't let us walk in without an employment contract. I can't even find someone to let me send a message. For all capable folk here, we, we're stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there were no meals that you didn't make yourself. Here, there's plenty, but nobody allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces of life from wherever we can. Anderson is about ready to sign up, offer his life in service to Space's choice just so he can take a shower. Clara, I hope to the architect this never reaches you, but on the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Anderson and I fucked up. We didn't take the, the contract for the pets. We didn't take it because Brian was sounded cool. We took it because we wanted out. Monarchs are living hell. We were sick of getting sick. Of bored, wrapped it on and stinking like sulfur no matter how hard you scrub. Of fighting, day in and day out. We were exhausted. We thought we could use the contract money to find a place here, settle down. But this place ain't any better, it's just different. We're starving all the same. We never should have left. I just thought maybe we could do better. I miss you, kid. Marauders at the door, and this is blood out. I'm on my way. I won't let them get me, not live anyway. I've seen what those monsters do. I don't. They were. That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you. The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. Ugh. Hard to leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. You want to talk? At least. At least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but. Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Mm. So what now? Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Well, we didn't need them at all. You just uh, wanted to reconnect. Suspected as much. I'd rather go in guns blazing. No, we need a plan. You may be a capable sort, but so are my friends. I ain't making that mistake twice. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals. But I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Oh. That's kind of convenient, so... We have another reason to go to Scylla. Pungent primals on Scylla. Okay, uh, but mainly I want to go to the space station now. Yeah, Scylla. Uh, let's just leave this place. So, let's go to the ship and leave the planet and just head to the space station. And go coming here was definitely the right call. Uh, I'm a little Crew thirsty. Members, Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Should I check it out? Oh, actually, it wouldn't be a terrible idea if the... I don't know if I would like it, but... That the companions just don't don't click and like, hey, you gotta choose between us. Max, Maximilian, Vicar, Vicky. What? Shoot, I forgot. It'll come to me. What the hell? So we gotta rest. Is it time for your regular daily period of unconsciousness? Yep. I was looking forward to it. So... Drink, drink. Eat, eat. 
what to eat. Uh, I don't know what looks like food. That's not it. Actually, let's put the, the beans in there. I mean, um, yeah. Let's let's eat that. Use not not that one. God damn it! I don't know what's food. That's food. Okay, maybe I should eat one more. <clears throat> I would go. Uh, take us to I the space station. We have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yep. Why not? Like, what would I do? Just terminating for 2,000 bits? Or maybe not even that. I don't care about money that much. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. <clears throat> Alright, we're already ready to head out. Uh, the group is set up. So... Maybe before we go to the spooky space station, it's time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.